You see you. <laughs> you see me, you see her. <laughs> and you see us. <laughs> Sorry, man. Look. No need to stress out my viewers. You do enough stress with me. No need to stress out the viewers. And they see us, and they see you, and they see me, and he see here. <laughs> I have no idea what you said. Not, not, you see not. here. You want to Folks, I just wanted to share Hello with you. Hello, folks. Welcome to my channel. And thank you. And <laughs> one of them. Believe it or not, neither one of them have been drinking. They're sober. I am too. For the moment. So today is a Sunday. It's beautiful weather here. Today is our first day. That's yeah. why I'm sitting in the in the comfortable couch. That uh, it's a risk. Y'all, y'all keep yakking while I think to pull the camera back just a little bit here. <laughs> and good job, good job, Marcos. And little bit more, little bit more. <laughs> okay, folks. So we're basically trying to figure out what we're gonna eat today, tonight. We're gonna go to the village. <laughs> Decided against going to the village. Because I gave him a choice this morning, right? I said, you want to go to the village? Or do you want to go do ukai ukai shopping today? We want to go in the village, but we don't have tricycle to ride. Uncle Ninit's not here. She's, uh, he's in the Cebu city. Okay, so that that is a good point. Our truck driver is not available today because he's picking up a pig, picking up a bad boy down in Cebu City. Why you gotta go all the way to Cebu City to get the bad boy? Maybe maybe that's that's a, a nice brand bad boy. <laughs> nice. What are we Louis Vuitton? It's a different brand of live pig. <laughs> That's a, That's a long way to go and a lot of gas money to pick up a pig. When he's you can just, just using a tricycle. I hope he's not using his because his broke down like four times last week. No, that's, that's, I kept telling him, folks, it's leaking oil. We're, to, we're, to, we're not talking to Kuyani. I we're kept talking, saying uh, the trike is leaking oil. And nobody, of course, he don't speak English. I don't think they understand what oil was. But I'm telling them, hey, it's dripping oil. There's fresh oil right here. Just drove off. Nobody listened to the foreign guy. I'm like, hey, tell the Kuya his trike is leaking oil. Nobody listens. So then, like, an hour later, they show up in a in a van. I'm like, who the hell is that in the van? And out pops Fatima Forest G. I'm like, what happened? The trike broke down or... Something. No, he get the gas. He get the no gas. gas. No, he he get the gas. He put a gas in the van. Then in her, his his time it's already like almost time that to get me, but so he just picked what, me up. In what the, in the truck broke down? No, later. no. My a morning, in. his truck is broke. That's why he the pay. The point is the truck broke down because they didn't listen that it was leaking oil. It's a language barrier. I mean, I love everybody, but folks, if you think you're moving to the Philippines because everybody, they speak English, everybody speaks English, that's not true. That's not I the truth. I speak English, oi. I've been with her Dina for six Bastram. years. I don't understand anything she says. Uh, this one over here understands English real well, but she speaks back in Bisaya. Uh, don't even realize she's doing it. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you do it in English? And then, ah. Grandma, it's a challenge for Grandma to speak English. I'm just, I'm just telling you, I'm not making fun, I'm not complaining, but if you think I'm moving to the Philippines because they speak English... Because of that, no. That's why he's moving that here. That's just not true. Because of that, no. That, no My truck driver, <laughs> love him to death, right? <laughs> we'll be driving on the road, but hey, buddy, turn left here, turn left here, just keep going. Free rides. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, man, stop at 7 Eleven, stop at 7 Eleven. Anyhow, we're talking about what we're going to eat. They, they didn't want to go to the village. 
Well, we didn't go to the village because the trike guy is not here. But then I said, be honest. You want to go to the village or go ukai ukai shopping? Ukai ukai, bye bye. Okay. The secondhand clothes here are like clothes that Goodwill can't even give away and they end up in the Philippines. I've talked about this many times, but the, the clothes here uh, mostly are junk. Baby. But if you go to an, a secondhand shop, hell, there's one in Patty I go to all the time, 30 by a store. I find brand new Columbia with the tag still on it. Uh, brand new uh, Old Navy. You can really score some some deals over at some of those shops over there. Brand new clothes, 30 by. Over here, the clothes are just rags. And so what I try to tell these ladies, I said, look, because they just got some brand new shirts on Lazada, right? For 50 pesos. Mm. A dollar. Less than 59? a dollar. nine. Whatever. Just say one U.S. dollar. And, you know, they're, they're you know, cheap material. It's thin, but it's brand new. And I said, wouldn't you rather have a brand new shirt? A brand new shirt off Lazada for 50 pesos than rags for 30? I'm just asking. We, we, we. <laughs> or is it just the thrill of going to the Uka Uka store and sorting through the rags? It's just thrill, like we like to. It's the thrill, go right? Like this. Boop, 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 boop. It's the thrill of going like this to the rags. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not lying, folks. I mean, most of the most of the clothes are just junk, absolute junk. But if you buy me a uh, six clothes, two jeans, um, I go in the Lazada. <laughs> Okay, can somebody check for us, G, and make sure he's not destroying my desk over there? Of course, she has a big bag of Come toys. On. I mean, they got a bunch of toys. But we have this one clear. Easy, buddy. Hello. We have this one clear zippered bag. And what he likes to do is take everything in the bag and dump it out wherever he's at. He doesn't, like, sort through it. He dumps everything out and goes from there. And occasionally, he dumps everything out on my desk, under my desk, next to my desk, middle of the floor. When Grandma's trying to sleep in the floor, he dumps the, the toys out all around Grandma and then lays up on Grandma. It's funny, but it's, it's, it's a pain in the butt to clean up, right? So we're talking about eating. They're tired of eating chicken. Nah, Fadima so says she's growing feathers. <laughs> so I say, okay, what do you want to eat? Octopus. They want an octopus. Now listen. I've been craving an octopus for me. I like a calamari, Wait. but you know when it's fried with a little cocktail sauce, you know? That's not the way they're going to cook it. So I don't want no octopus. I like octopus. We like octopus. I like octopus. I love we octopus. Like octopus. We like octopus. We like octopus. We Delicious like octopus. octopus. It's yeah. color black <laughs> or <Yummy>. not fit. <laughs> Yummy octopus. And you are going to eat the octopus? Yes. Is it um, <laughs> color black? <laughs> okay. So it's quite obvious you ladies want octopus, but what about me? Yeah. What about the you foreign guy? Chicken wings. <laughs> chicken wings. You do like I know, right? Uh, octopus. So you, you you eat a chicken wings. You don't have a choice. If you eat a lot of chicken wings, you don't like the. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much what I eat every night. Is chicken wings. I'm tired of eating all the time. My God, like I have something to feel in here now. I have. <laughs> They're growing. We have feeders in our. <laughs> They're complaining about eating too much and chicken. I, I have but if, they, if, <laughs> if you were in the village, um, if you were in vegetables. the village, you would, you, you'd be eating vegetables. Then you'd be complaining you got carrots growing out your head. No. Yeah. Vegetables Not is. Not complaining about eating chicken every night. Vegetables, is, it's healthy for your body. Oh, I come out there. If it's suppose it's glow food. <laughs> yeah, you need that glow food, but not always. Eh? Go 
apa ni mengkuana? What? Grow. It's a, it's a meat. They call it. They call this something. You, you guys keep calling it grow food. What is grow food? It's a for example meat like. Uh, meat chicken, is grow food. Chicken. Uh, you mean you grow it, or it makes you grow? I don't know. Basta. I so you don't even know. You just call it grow food. <laughs> Basta grow food. Basta I know grow oh, food. Oh, oh, I don't like a boy. <laughs> That's the call that. Maria, so, explain to Kadada what is glow, go, grow, glow. Hey, what am I going to say? Okay, so here's the deal. I got no energy. Zero mm. energy. I got no beer. Mm. No whiskey. Sana all. No Cokes. No, empty. I got cranberry <laughs> juice, but no rum to go in it. Oh. Yesterday, now... I understand sometimes they're out, right? But I, I dispatched these ladies to 7-Eleven to get California Red. They said there was no California Red, so she come back with a Moscato. It's sweet. It's like Kool-Aid. I drank that whole bottle. What is Kool-Aid? Zero effect. Like flavored water. Kool-Aid is like fake juice, you know? Um, Strawberry grape. Like gulaman? <laughs> so... <laughs> I appreciate them bringing me back that bottle of wine, but I'm telling you, zero effect on the alcohol. It's sweet. It, it was just like I drank uh, a bottle of Kool-Aid. Got to get the California Red, ladies. Go the extra mile. If they're out at 7-Eleven, just roll on across the street to Prince and get Big Daddy California Red. Give me okay. money. Honey, you already have money. What do you no! mean? Give me money. You throw that in there. You already have money. Listen, my California Red is more important than this octopus. No! If you're going to fry it, put some breading, get some uh, cocktail sauce, yeah, I'll eat, the, I'll eat the octopus with you. But that's not how you want to cook it. Right, I got Folks, you see the stress I'm under. The, what we're discussing, the biggest stre- stress or lack of amenity or inconvenience. Okay, it's the food situation. If you move to your wife's province, I've said it a million times, the biggest challenge living there is not her family or not the fact that you're you know, isolated. It's just the food. I like your smile, though. It's the food situation. What happened to your face? What happened to your face? You, Not you, that I love fast food, but I love to have a, a Big Mac and fries right now. Are you a cat? Huh? What's happened to your face? If I want Big Mac and fries, I got to go to Bogo City. What, 30, what 45 minutes away by truck? Hmm? What happened to your face? You can face? go to Jollibee, but it's horrible. Although, here's the thing. If you go to Angel's Burger and get those little cheap hamburgers... Get them here, scrape off any sauce they got on there, and put ketchup, mustard, put your own accoutrements on there. They're edible. But what's crazy is that the best piece of fried chicken here in this town is 7-Eleven chicken. (laughs) I thought, I mean, it's something you you don't want to ever have to say or admit to that 7-Eleven has the best chicken, but hands down, it's the best chicken in this town, fried chicken. My Big old piece of meat, all, all white meat, crispy breading on there, a little thick breading, it's delicious. They claim it doesn't have any taste, but I said, I, it, it, it's okay for me, but it's, it's if you put it with some honey mustard or sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, Morocco, oh, you don't have a baby rib 7-Eleven fried chicken, huh? You don't have baby ribs. I'll put that Caesar on there. Oh. That's bad when you ain't got no baby, sweet baby rays in the house. What about I mean, Worcestershire sauce? Out of that too? Worcestershire? I Worcestershire. Think, I think they have. I think they have one. I think we have one? Yeah. One? Okay. Just one. Yeah. So that's boy. it. It's octopus. My tatty boy. My for the ladies. Mm-mm-mm. Cancel I'm... the ukai ukai shopping, unless you want to window shopping. Ah! 
But listen, if you're excited about going like this, just open up that cabinet right there and you pretend. Just go like this. You pretend you're at the ukai ukai. God. Make your selection. Pay me 30 pesos. I got a cash register right there. Get Maria's cash register. Say hi, everyone. Say hi. Say hi, everyone. Of course, she's uh, not say, happy because say hi, everyone. we got this colored pencil set. It's really nice colored mm -hmm. pencils for school, mm -hmm. right? He likes playing with them like pickup sticks. He throws them in the floor. He picks them Clap up. I'm hands. like, look, you're going to break the Clap pencils. your hands. So she hid Clap the pencils. He's not too hands. happy. He's been searching the house for the pencils. Say happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we got to get jelly bee for all his classmates and get a cake. So he's excited about that. What kind jelly bee? What kind jelly bee? Okay, absent. I think actually Fatima is the most excited about getting the jelly bee. Hello, you know, come with a cup. I'm not excited because I have to go wait in jelly bee for the foods. I'm going to try to make the trike driver do that dirty work for me. I don't want to wait in Jollibee for 25. We do absent tomorrow, okay? Yeah, let's all do absent, yeah. But you still bring the Jollibee in there. <laughs> Jollibee, like... Jollibee. Yeah, that's the bad thing about it. I'm going to wait for all this Jollibee for the children and for Forrest G, and the cake. Which, that's my job as old dad, old single dad. I got to do it. I love to do it. The only downside is I'm not going to eat that. I'll eat me a piece of cake, but I'm not eating that jelly bee. I guess. Mi Dios, por favor, build See, a Burger you know, King. The, Bring Burger King. The octopus waiting with me. Bring Burger King to Dambantayan, please. Bring a Burger King. Wait, the octopus been waiting for me. Or a McDo. But I prefer the Burger King. You know, or a Texas like that chicken. Never. Oh my gosh, folks, if you ever go to Thailand, Texas chicken is the most delicious chicken place. I almost want to say it beats out Popeyes, but I'm not going to go that far. With the price, the value, uh, the taste, the sauce, the selection, Texas chicken in Thailand is on time for fast food. Oh, look. What? Gosh. You're so dreaming about this octopus. <laughs> you wanna play Uno, buddy? Looks like you got Papa's p ink pens all over your face. <laughs> Looks like you got whiskers. Okay, ladies, so you're gonna deploy to the market, get your octopus, give me a piece of fried chicken at 7 Eleven along with California Red. You gonna get fried chicken too? They just leave out the octopus. Just go to 7 Eleven and get the fried chicken. Octopus time. Fatima, it's two versus one. Oh, she like octopus too. Oh my gosh. You, you, one, two. Gosh. What's up, man? Octopus, oh my gosh. What? Octopus, look at you. Whatever y'all want to get, just bring back my California Red yes. to deal with the stress of dealing with you ladies. Like a bug of But you need to give me money. Boom. Uh, the, I the can't Cali hear for 30 The California minutes. is for I can't five, hear. 400 plus, almost 500. You, you so. got 500 in your purse, I know. I, no. Plus a secret stash. No. I'm going to find long. Grandma's fish. Her secret fish money. I know it's around here somewhere. I've been looking. <laughs> Nobody's got any money till the fish lady comes by. And then they run in here into this bedroom. I don't know where they go. But if that fish lady comes by, it's like the, the money fairy magically flies into that room with enough money to buy two kilos of fish. Two kilos only one a year or half. They sit around here. They, they oh, I got no money, no pesos. Is that the fish lady? Go, go, go. I mean, they just run in there, come out, and the next thing you know, they're frying fish. But if the foreign guy says, hey, y'all got, got, got any coins to give me a beer? <laughs> Voila. Voila. <laughs> yeah, y'all bring me a beer, too. Sounds good. Bring me a Heineken, too. Give me 
Heineken, California Red, a piece of fried chicken. Give me money, give me money. And some barbecue sauce. Give me money, give me money. You know, money. things that the foreign guy likes. Oh. Okay. Hey, before we, before you take that, you give me money first. Because we cannot buy that until you not give me money. Well, baby, octopus is sort of like a fish. It comes out of the sea. So you can get that secret fish money in there, wherever it's yeah. at, and spend that on the octopus. Sabade. Then you have more money to buy my... Sabadra Marco! Paghiro Manat! Folks, if you're in the West, or in America, majority y'all are do you ever have conversations like this with your wife or girlfriend about dinner do you ever have an argument over an octopus <laughs> i mean have you ever had an argument with your wife over an octopus or a fish because we've been eating a chicken marquitos sometimes whole chicken Go to the chick, uh, wings, chicken wings. Go to the drumstick. Go back to the whole chicken. Go back to the... Gosh. Yeah, well, that's four different meals. If you fry it, then if you barbecue it, that's another four. That's eight different meals. <laughs> Trust me, I'd like, to have a, I'd like to have a Big Mac. I'd like to have a Whopper. I'd like to have a pizza. But you, we go to, we go to the we go to the pizza. Since, since you're the queen, and I I moved to your hometown to make you happy, to be around your family. I sacrifice. Mm, oh, sacrifice. <laughs> every every item of foreign guy food I sacrifice for you. Oh, sacrifice. I'm just trying to survive here on fried chicken. <laughs> Poor can. <laughs> Folks, it's pretty bad when you get excited and you start your mouth starts watering about a piece of chicken and from 7-Eleven. I mean, pizza, 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 pizza. I'm just dreaming about TGI Fridays and it's a blue city. Man. <laughs> Dripping. <laughs> Maybe it's it's pretty bad when I'm dreaming about chicken from 7-Eleven. That's pretty bad. <laughs> but in their defense, it's actually damn good. I'm telling you, the fried chicken at 7-Eleven, if you put sauce on it, drown it in sauce, is absolutely delicious. Easy on the hot dog, babe. No. <laughs> hey, what am I? I'm not a pretzel. I'm not a piece of spaghetti here. So you ladies go get the octopus. Get my California rib. <laughs> Give me five on the other side. Down low. <laughs> okay. There's this thing. Now look, if you're married to a full pina, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some people are just dreaming about it. It's the same with Thai ladies. If you give a full pina or a Thai girl money, that becomes their deep savings plan. It goes straight to their savings account, not to be touched. I mean, it's no different with her, my Thai wife. You know, you give you give you give my Thai wife a thousand baht in the morning, or she gets a thousand baht out of my wallet, and I'm like, hey, pick me up a beer on the way back. They're like, give me money. Well, I just gave you a thousand. No, that's that's their savings account. So all this money that she has, she's not gonna spend. That's her savings. She's not gonna buy me a beer or buy me a piece of chicken. You have to give her extra. It's like this one here the other day. Now I don't even know the end of the story, but I'm about to bring it up. So, she has some money. What'd you have, 500 pesos, right? But then the trike driver, our normal trike driver, didn't show up, so she had to take a regular trike down to school <laughs> and I'm still trying to figure out did you pay for that trike you pay for that trike right 
And she still probably just, that just cut her so deep that she had to pay for her own trike. Because <laughs> usually who pays for the trike? The foreign guy, right? <laughs> but she had money. The, our trike driver wasn't available. She had to pay her own way. How much did it cost to get to school? 55, bro. Huh? 55, no. 25? 25? 20. Oh, 20 pesos. That's 40 cents. <laughs> Bing. But did, did you pay for that or did I think give you that money? I think give you the coins, ah, so she didn't break that fire. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what happened? You were doing gymnastics on me. I'm not sure. Here we go. Back to the damn octopus. Okay, I, listen. I don't care. Get the octopus. Just bring me back my wine so I can deal with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if if I was 70 years old, I'd probably be taking 20 different medications. You'd be giving, here's your medicine, here's your medicine. The only medicine I take is red wine. Don't complain. And I can drink that myself. <laughs> not asking you to rub Bengay all over me. Just get the wine. Is it Bengay? Is it Bengay? Baby, it's... Never mind. It's a lotion. Oh, well. Ah, oh, my love. It's got nothing to do with buy you some backlogs. It's a... <gasps> Never mind. Let me get that. I Let me get that. I'm so I'm so scared. Babe, did I ever show you how a horse eats corn? <laughs> a Yuma. That's a... Yumbi. <laughs> Yeah, honey, you said oh, Yuma. Man. That's Yuma, Arizona. <laughs> Human. Ah, I get a bang eye. Okay, I need I need the wine, ladies. Give me money now. Oh, bang! Is your jaw cramped up again from laughing? <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for joining us on this discussion about, about an octopus, 7-Eleven fried chicken, wine, and the stress on one of here. You look so pretty when you put your hair down. I'm always pretty. Well, when you put your hair up, you look like your mother. You look like grandma. I'm her kid, kids, kid. I'll be honest. Yeah. When, when you put your when you put your hair down, <laughs> when you put your hair down, you look you look beautiful and thick. You put your hair up, you look. <laughs> you look fat. <laughs> Can you just can you just keep your hair down? You're good. I like a thick girl. I like a chubby, but if you you put your hair up, baby, it's straight up fat. Pretty, hot, and tempting. Oh my gosh, stress on mother here. Because I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny.